Hello everyone, my name is Kaylee and welcome back to my craft room. Today I am going to be showing you how to make my Quiet Star Cowl. Now I named it that just because it's uh, the first cowl I've ever designed so I just thought I should name it something special after my channel name. So let's get started with the supplies you will need to make this. For this cowl I used Lion Brand's Hometown USA yarn. It is a bulk, super bulky number 6. And I used um, two balls of this and part of the third one. And there are 64 yards or 4 ounces in each ball. But for today I am actually going to be using Red Heart Super Saver in the color medium time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two different balls or cakes of it and I am going to be working with the yarn held together. And I have made my cowl with two skeins of size 4 medium worsted weight yarn before. So it does work out. So I only ended up using less than one skein of worsted weight yarn, so this is what I have left. But if you have two skeins of yarn that are the same color, you can just use both of those, or if you want, you can just make two separate balls or cakes, and then have those both going at the same time. And that is what I did. But whatever works better for you. You will also be needing a yarn needle, three one inch buttons, and if your holes in your buttons aren't big enough to fit yarn in a yarn needle through, that's okay. You can just use um, a sewing needle and sewing thread. Then you'll be needing scissors, of course. And last but not least, you will be needing a 9mm hook. So without further ado, let's get started on this cowl. So we are going to take our two strands of worsted weight yarn, or, um, or a super bulky yarn if you're using that, and just leave a little bit of a tail so you can sew that in later. So we are going to be working with multiples of two, plus one. So if you end up not liking the size that this comes out as, just like add or subtract multiples of two. But for this pattern we are going to be chaining 75. Okay, now that we have chained 75, this next step is really important. Um, if you don't do this, you won't get um, this same effect right here on both sides of this first row of star stitches. So you, so it's very important that you do what I'm about to tell you. So what you need to do is turn your chain over and we are going to be working in the back bumps. I know some people do that already to give it a nicer look on the on the end, but I usually don't, except for in this pattern. So this first row is going to be the star stitch, and we're going to be working into these back bumps, like I said, of the chain. So flip your chain over and find that first bump which is right there. Put your hook through and pull up a loop. And then you have two loops on your hook. And for the star stitch we need to have six so that means we're going into four more bumps. So find the next one, pull up a loop, next one, pull up a loop. 
then the next one, and one more. So now we have six loops on our hook. We need to yarn over, pull through all six. Then Then chain one to close that. So it will look like this. For this next star stitch we have to um, work into some different places. So we will start by working into this hole that we just made with the chain one. So you pull up a loop through that hole, then you separate these um, first two loops right here that we made and you put your hook right through those first two and pull up a loop. And then you can see this little hole sticking out right here that we worked in before. We are going to pull up a loop through there too. So now we have four loops on our hook. And like I said, for the star stitch, we need six loops on our hook. So we are going to continue working into the back bumps of the chain. And we are going to pull up a loop through the next two. So we just did one. And here is the second one. So now we have six loops on our hook again. Then we'll yarn over and go through all six. Once we did that, chain to close it off. And now we just did our second star stitch. And I'll show you that one more time. We're going through this hole we made with the chain one, separating the, um, these two loops right here, going right in there. Pulling up a loop, so we have three. Then working into this slightly bigger hole. And pulling up a loop through there. And that hole is um, in the previous star stitch, that was like the second back bump we worked into. So yeah, now you have four. Then you work into this next bump of the chain, pull up a loop, and then one more time. And now you have six. Chain, right, yarn over and pull through all six, and then chain one. So now you have three, and you'll be doing that all the way down the chain in the back bumps only because, like I said, if you don't do it in the back bumps, you will not end up with the same effect that this cowl has. Now, I actually forgot to do that um, myself, and then I had to undo everything and go back just because I wanted it to be nice, but I was almost done with this tutorial and then I discovered that I did that wrong. So I had to come back and fix it. So please, if you want it to turn out the right way, um, work in the back bumps of the chain. So do the star stitch all the way down the chain and I'll meet you back. Okay, now we're at the end of the row and we have um, just one chain left to work into and we're going to put a half double crochet into that back bump of the chain. So now what you have is the star stitch all the way down the row and then the bottom should look like this, like all those V's, because like I said, that'll be very important 
at the end. To start our next row, we are going to chain one and turn. Okay, now that we have turned our work, we are going to put one single crochet into this half double crochet that we just did. Then next we are going to find the the center of the star stitch right here. So we're going to ignore these horizontal stitches. We are just going to work into these centers. So we are going to put two single crochets into the center of each star stitch. And if you have trouble seeing where it is, I mean it shouldn't be too hard, but if you need help sometimes um, it's easier to see on the other side. So you can see um, where all of these loops were joined with the chain one. So I'll do that again. We skip this horizontal stitch right here and then we find the center of the star stitch and we put two single crochets into that. So that's what we'll be doing for row two. We'll be putting two single crochets into each of the centers of the star stitch. Alright, now that we're at the end, we're going to put one single crochet into this stitch right here. Just to even everything out. And now we are going to chain three and turn. Okay, now that we've turned, we're going to be doing double crochets in the back loops only. So that means in every little V we are going to be using the back loops only. The loops that are furthest away from you. So this chain three in this pattern counts as a stitch. So we're going to skip right here and then go into this next stitch. Into the back loops only, we are going to do double crochet. So it should look like that. And that's all we'll be doing the whole row. So yarn over your hook, find the back loop of the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So one double crochet in each of the back loops. And I'll meet you when you're finished. Okay, now we're at the end of row three. And it should be looking like this. It'll have a little ridge here with the uh, made up of the front loops that we did not work in. And now we are going to chain two. Because we are going to be doing half double crochets into this round. So turn your work once you've chained two. And for this row, we are going to be doing front post half double crochets. So to do that, you yarn over your hook and you stick it behind this double crochet, this first one. You yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through those three loops on your hook. <clears throat> Now I'll show you that again. So you find the next double crochet which is right here. You can see where it worked right here. So we'll yarn over, put it behind the stitch, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three 
of those loops. So we'll be doing front post, half double crochets, all the way across this row. And I'll see you at the end. So now that I'm at the end, we still have this um, chain from turning before. I am actually going to do a front post half double crochet around that as well. I'm not sure if that's necessarily a correct thing to do, but that's just what I like to do in my pattern. So on, on this side that's facing us right now, it should look like this. But now we will be chaining two to turn, and on this side, this is going to be like the final good side. This is what it should be looking like. It has this um, like line of V's sticking out because we did the front post half double crochets. So we're starting to get some nice texture in here. Okay, now the reason why we chained two this time is because we are going to be this is going to be a little tricky but we are going but we're going to just stick our hook into the front loop of this second chain right here so just the front loop and you pull up a loop in that and then you have to go back and find the back loop of that chain so you just went through the front loop and now you have to go through the back loop of the same chain and pull up a loop. So now you should have three loops on your hook. Then for the star stitch, since we need six loops on our hook, we are going to get those loops from the next three chains. This time with the star stitch we're only going to be working in the back loops. So find that first back loop, pull up a loop, you got four, next one five, and then the last one, now you have six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six, and then just like before we're going to chain one to close that. So now it should be looking like that, we've kind of squared it off. And just like when we did star stitch before, we're going to be working in, in this little space that we just made. Pulling up a loop, then separating these loops, finding the first little space. Pulling up another loop, then find this next bigger hole where we already worked in before. Pull up a loop, and then the next two stitches we're going to pull up loops in the back loops only. So now you have six. And then pull through all of those and then chain one. We'll be doing the star stitch in the back loops only all the way across the row. So one last time we're going through this hole that we just made pulling up a loop, finding that first space between here, and then pulling up another loop, pulling up a loop in that big hole that we already worked in, and pulling up a loop using only the back loops of the next two stitches. And that leaves us with six loops on our hook like we should have. Yarn over, pull through all six, and then chain one. So do that all the way across the row, and I'll meet you back. This is what it's going to look like once you've done your last star stitch. So um, to even out the ends, we're going to do a half double crochet into this second chain right here. See the, kind of see the first one is like right here. And then there's like the second one. You just want to do a half double crochet right into that. And that will 
make your end nice and straight. So this next row is just going to be a repeat of row 2, like right after we did our first row of the star stitch. So we're going to do a chain 1, going to turn, we're going to do a single crochet right in this half double crochet that we just did in the last row. And then we're going to find these little um, holes in the middle of the star stitches again and we're going to put two single crochets into each one of those all the way across the row. So just like the second row our last stitch will be right here. Just do one single crochet into there. This next row is just going to be a repeat of row 3, which is just the double crochets into the back loops only. So we chain 3 to reach the height of a double crochet. And remember, this counts as one double crochet, so we skip this first um, stitch right there, and then go into the back loops of the next one. So just do double crochets all the way down the row in the back loops only. Okay, so for this next row, we are just going to be repeating row four, which is the front post half double crochets. So remember, you will chain two to start. Then you will find the first double crochet right here, yarn over, go under that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through three loops on your hook. So one more time, so yarn over, under that double crochet, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and then pull through the three loops on your hook. So you'll be doing front post half double crochet all the way across. Okay, so if you can remember the last time we did the front post, the front post half double crochet, we did that around this chain as well. Then once you've done that, you will chain two again and turn. So this will be another back loop star stitch row. So that means we have to go into the second chain here, into the front loop, grab a loop, and then find the back loop of that same chain. Pulling it apart helps. Um, then you can put your hook through there and then pull up a loop. And you should have three. Then find that first, um, the first stitch, and the back loop. Pull up a loop, and then pull up a loop in the next two again. So you have six loops. Yarn over through all six and then chain one. Then of course we carry on as normal doing the star stitch going through that hole we just made, finding that first space between these, going into that larger hole and then the two next two back loops only. Then you have six, run over, pull through all six then chain one. So do that all the way down the row. So we're to the end and we have to do a half double crochet into that second chain just like before. So there's the first one and then the second one. And we are going to chain one, 
we're going to be doing uh, around around the whole project, but this will be our last row. So we have chain one, and then we have to put a single crochet into the top of that half double crochet we just made in the previous row. Then we have to find the middles of the star stitches again, and then put two single crochets into those, just like we did before. And that will meet you when you're done with that. And we're back to the end, and just like before, you need to put one single crochet into this horizontal stitch right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a round of half double crochets all around the entire project. So we are going to chain two. We're going to flip our work. So what we're going to do is put a half double crochet into the back loops only all the way across down to the corner and stop once you get there so I can tell you what to do next. But first, um, this chain two counts as a half double crochet. So, so half double crochet into the back loops only all the way across this row. Right now that we've reached the end of this row, we are going to actually make two more half double crochets into the same back loop. So there will be a total of three half double crochets in there. Then we're going to turn it um, so we are going to be working on the side of the project now. And we'll be putting half double crochets down the entire side. So just kind of evenly place them down the side. It honestly it doesn't really matter what the stitch count is. It just has to be nice and even and not like buckle up or like be totally like spread apart. So really just find whatever holes you can. So now that we're at the end we have to put um, three half double crochets into this last corner or into this corner. Now that we've put three half double crochets in the corner, we are going to now only work in the back loops of these V's, which this now is um, our chain foundation of 75. So we are going to work in the back loops of each one of those chains and this is why I had you work in into the back bumps of the chains because this way we can because since we did that we can work into the back loops only and with this little um, this little tail you can either work or work over it or you can just leave it out and sew it in later. Yeah, we are going to be working in the back loops all the way across, doing half double crochets. And once we reach the corner, I will tell you what to do then. Okay, now we're at the corner again, so I'm going to put two more half double crochets in that stitch since I already had one in there. So that's one, two, and three. And we turn one last time to do the final side. Then same as the other short side. Just do F double crochets evenly across. Okay, now we're at the corner again, and this time we're only going to do 
two half double crochets into that. So it'll be a nice square corner. Then we're going to chain one. And we're going to slip stitch right into this chain right here. Then we're going to cut ourselves a tail. And we are going to just simply pull it the yarn out. Instead of chaining one and then pulling it out because we are going to try to make um, this join as invisible as we can. So grab your yarn needle and put both strands of yarn through or just the one if you used the bulky yarn. Okay, now that we have our needle threaded, we are going to um, find this stitch right here. See there's um, like one stitch right in between where our yarn is and right here. And then we're just going to pull it through. And then we are going to put it and then we are going to put it into this stitch right here. Our yarn is attached right here and then the stitch we're going to put and then we're going to put the needle right through the stitch that's right behind where yarn is joined. And we're going to adjust that to the same size as all the other bees. And you can see it gives you a nicer finish to it. And you can go ahead and weave through the stitches a few times in different directions just to make sure it never comes out. And then just cut your yarn and now we have our ends all done. Now that's it for the crocheting part of this tutorial but now we're going to add the buttons. Yeah, so this is where we joined off. So we are going to place the buttons on this side right here. Looking at this original cowl I did, I spaced them about two star stitches apart. That's a good indicator of how far apart to put them. So I am going to put one on this last, this very last star stitch right here. And then I'm going to space them out about two apart, just like the other one, just like the other cowl. So that means they should be right about here. Now since I used worsted weight yarn, I am going to take one of the strands this time. I'm going to put it through my yarn needle. I'm going to cut a decent amount. Then I'm going to make the ends even. Then you can see I have 
the yarn needle at the opposite end. Then I'm going to tie a knot. I'm just going to move those buttons out of the way real quick. So I am going to make sure that's nice and lined up with the star stitch. And looking at the back, you have to make sure you actually hit or actually go through yarn instead of just this big middle, big middle part. Otherwise, um, your button will not stay. So you go through the hole, then back. Then you can either go through the buttons once or twice, depending on um, if you can fit it through more than once or not. Looks like I can, so I'm going to. Again, making sure you're actually going through the yarn in the back and not just a big hole. I'm just going to make sure this is nice and secured. I'm going to weave in the ends. Alright, now that the first button is on, I'm going to take the second one and space it out two star stitches away from the other one. Alright, we got the second one on and again we're going to space it out two star, stitch two star stitches away from the last button. Okay, and if you have any other tails like this, you can weave those in too. So there you have it. You have a brand new cowl to add to your wardrobe. And these buttons fit nicely in the star stitch rows. So you can either wear it like this or you can fold down the, the top of it like this. And that's usually what I do. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like this cowl. And if you do make it, I would love to see pictures so either tag me on Instagram or come join my Facebook group and post pictures on there. I look forward to seeing what your cowls end up looking like. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.